Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day in Taiwan. Today we are exploring Ziyuetan. Basically, in English, it translates to Sun Moon Lake. It's literally the English name for it. Um, so we are here at the pier, and I think we're gonna take a boat to take a look. Anyway, there are my parents. We are gonna go on the boat. Going on a boat. Look at the boat that we're going on. It has a golden horsey on it. How perfect. us to different parts of the island um, so we are currently at our second stop this is what this looks like this stop is pretty lit because I think there are a lot of food options and also you can even like have some water sports over there like if you want a bike kayak etc I haven't been here in a really long time but I'm very excited to go shopping This is the street. This is extremely touristy, but I am currently a tourist. So um, yeah, I am falling for everything, you know? Look at all the night market vibe food. Right here, nice. So this is the hotel that we're staying at. So if you're at Sun Moon Lake, apparently this is the hotel to stay at. I believe it is because it is one of the oldest hotels in this area, but there are a lot of amenities to enjoy. So I'm excited to show you guys. Ooh. Wow, look at this. All right, we are getting shown to our room right now. give a retour so we got a honeymoon suite I think is what this is called I'm not sure um, we just got a candlelit you get to see the entire view of Sun Moon Lake and this is my parents room it's so nice and they even have their own bathtub and then this is the bathroom right here there's even a what is this actually I don't know is this a shower so there's even a regular shower and this is the toilet. I just feel like the amenities are just insane because like everything looks really minimal but everything's like pretty hidden. This TV can do like a 360 and then there's like a closet here and there's even like this little I don't know, just like, it's just such a vibe. Um, and then over into the next room, this one is two singles for me and the auntie. And then this is the outside. They just um, lit the candle for nighttime. And yeah, this is also just really, really nice with a nice little shower. And this is what the room looks like. This is our new hotel room. It's a Japanese style room. Okay, this is a Taiwanese style buffet. I missed out on dinner yesterday because I was sick. Wow, there's even Western style breakfast. Look at this. This is the egg omelet station. This is the veggie and congee station. There's even a noodle station, so you can make your own noodles. 
Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Taiwan. So just to fill you in on yesterday, we went to another hotel, but the night before I had a virus, we know for sure now because I went to the doctor, apparently I had some sort of like virus. And anyway, I spent the night throwing up and having explosive diarrhea. I love how the car drove by to block me saying explosive diarrhea, um, just to keep it classy on here, but I'm gonna say that as it is, okay? Anyway, so today's the first day of me finally being alive. So I am showing you what we're up to. We're at this area called the Old England. It's like, it literally looks like a castle. Let me show you guys. is my dad being an Instagram boyfriend to my mom. So we are currently at a goat farm and apparently a very famous movie in Taiwan was filmed here. Obviously a romance movie, okay? Cause what else would it be? Um, anyway, let me show you guys this goat slash sheep farm. Cause I can't even tell, is this a sheep? I'm pretty sure it is. Like, look at it. Hello. And there are more sheeps down there. Look at this sheep being a star. Just everyone taking a picture of him. Or her. Okay, wait, these species look different. Why do they look different? This. No. <laughs> oh wait, we have a taker. No, never mind. <laughs> so this is what the start of the goat farm looks like. It starts off with this beautiful scene of cherry blossoms. This is why we chose to come here today because there are cherry blossoms, obviously this is seasonal, so this is the perfect time to see it. Okay, I am finally going to 7-Eleven in Taiwan, and yes, it is a huge deal because 7-Eleven in Taiwan is like no other, okay? It is like their everything here. You can buy pretty much anything you eat here for lunch. Anyway, the food in 7-Eleven is unmatched. It is like the convenience store here is just unreal. People, like I said, use it for pretty much everything. Um, you can pay your bills here, pay your phone bill, mail, mail things. It's just like a different beast. So this is the 7-Eleven we're going into. As you can see on the right, this is where people eat. Here you can obviously get all the hot foods. Oh, this is more hot foods and this is all like Taiwanese style hot foods. These are all very, very common and all very delicious. And then I'm gonna show you guys what is in the back. So even their ready to eat meals are amazing. I used to eat this so much as a kid, just these like Japanese um, rice ball things, but even their prepared food is honestly so delicious. You can just buy it here and heat it up, but everything here is so, so, so good. It's unreal. This is what their snack aisle looks like. Okay, so this is the reason why we are here today. We are here to eat some instant noodles. Look at this selection. So this is my favorite instant noodle. You can't find this in Canada, but I am ready to eat. Okay, we're currently at our new hotel and it looks like a freaking castle. Let me show you. Heading to our room. It's like a cutie Airbnb, but it's like a castle vibe. Wow. This is a two 
bedroom. Okay, so this is the bathroom. How? This is the double bed. How? This is the outside. Dang. And then, ooh, look at this fireplace. And then, I'm gonna go up here now. This is the second floor. And here's the second bathroom. Nice. We're having some afternoon tea at our hotel. Look at all the biscuits. And treats. top of a mountain okay, this is our last hotel room and look at the bathtub okay first of all this is the room but look at the bathtub in this room oh yeah it's just really heavy okay whoa bathroom of course comes with a bidet this is a standard now and then faces the ocean Okay guys, this is what it looks like. We're eating in the car. Mm. Hold on. Mm. I asked for soy sauce and she did not give me soy sauce. Aww, what a bummer. Hey guys, it's another day in Taiwan. I have worn the same outfit five million times because I just cannot. When you're feeling terrible, you know, you just don't want to prioritize any of that. Anyway, we are trying some scallion pancakes today. It is, it is extremely famous in Taiwan and particularly this location is extremely famous as you can see by the line behind me and in front of me. So, okay guys, our next stop is we are getting some papaya milk. Um, it is extremely famous in Taiwan. This is one of the freshest places that you can have it. Let me show you. Yay! They also sell other juices and this is their avocado. It's huge AF, but we're getting the papaya milk. And that's the menu. Papaya milk. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Yesterday we had papaya milk and it was so disappointing because it was from like a chain restaurant or a chain store and they had not enough papaya in it. But this one has the right amount. <laughs> yeah, my dad's like, it had like no papaya. That was not fun. We are currently at this random park which is near the pancake place actually. And there's this area where you can just literally soak your feet and it's free. I'm not even joking. Look, my mom's going right now. Look, there's my mom and there's everybody just getting their feet soaked for free. And look at the steam coming out. Look at that, right there. Look, this is the park that we're at. I honestly should get better with names because I have no idea what this place is called. I'm gonna have to check it out, but look at my mom just getting in the middle of that lady. Like, hello, mom. See, so I have joined them. This feels like literally a hot tub, but it's just for your feet. And yeah, and it's free. Okay guys, we are currently now at the one that actually has fishies eating at your feet or nibbling at your feet. 
this is what it looks like. It's $50, so therefore $2. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what a classic Taiwanese bakery looks like. Okay, there's always a plate and um, like a console that you can use to pretty much grab it at the beginning. And the pastries in Taiwan are unmatched. I honestly think it's either the milk or the flour because even with plain white bread, it just tastes so much different, so much better. So this is where you would grab your spatula and your plate and then you just start like filling your plate up. Hi guys, okay, it is currently nighttime in Taiwan and I am actually meeting up with my friend Devin who's also from Toronto. We're going to a bar called Sneak Peek and it is apparently started by a Canadian YouTuber. So anyway, let's go in. Hello guys, um, so t it is nighttime and we are actually gonna go clubbing. I know it looks like I'm in Uniqlo right now because I am um, and we are still going clubbing. It's just um, malls here are open until 11 p.m. So <laughs> how did you guys find me so quick? Okay, so I'm with Devin and Chloe. I was like, I was like, yo, I'm so confused. Why is the store still open? But I was like, okay, malls here are open until 11 p.m. We're going to drunk play. Yeah, yo, I love Taiwan. That is amazing. They work on my time. So we're going to drunk play. I've never been, but it's inside the mall and we're gonna go now. So yay, first time clubbing in Taiwan. Guys, look, Taiwan has lockers inside the mall. Like how genius is this? Like, can we have this please? And it's only for the price of, oh, it's $200. Okay, so it's 10. 20. Oh, 20? Wait, why is it two? Oh, for service. Three hours. 20 for three hours? That's literally a dollar. That's, that's less than a dollar. That's less than a dollar. Less than a dollar for three hours. Damn. Take my money. Maybe I'll check in this mask. I'm kidding. <laughs> I finally got bubble tea after this entire time of being here. This is my favorite place to get bubble tea in Taiwan. Anyway, right now we're getting myself a new vlogging camera. It has been too long of me using the same camera from my ex-boyfriend, I might add. Anyway, so now I'm getting a new vlogging camera. Found my camera! I'm currently at the high speed rail and I'm actually going to Taizong to see my mom's side of the family. So my aunt, that's who I'm specifically here to see. So I'm going to show you what the train station looks like. I'm using my new vlog camera, yay! Okay guys, extremely curious how this microphone is gonna work. Um, I'm excited to actually see if the filter works because it is so loud in the background right now. But I wanna show you guys the train station because basically it's like not like any other train stations in North America. It is just so lit. There is a food stall for everything. There's a Krispy Kremes, there's basically any type of cuisine that you want to ask for. If you want 
Asian food, um, there's like drink stands, there's dessert, you can even buy gifts for other people. It's insane and this isn't even like a main station. It wouldn't be like a grand central station type of thing. It's just like one of the stops but every single um, high speed rail station I feel like is usually quite lit just because there's always a lot of people and traveling and part of the culture is also bringing like gifts to people's homes when you see people you want to like bring food so i think this is always built like this to make it convenient for these things and obviously when you're traveling you get really hungry as well okay let me show you guys the station I'm gonna be buying myself one of the donuts. This is actually from Mr. Donut. It's um, a very popular chain here in Taiwan. Um, I haven't had this in ages. And just like Taiwanese style, you grab a plate and you grab what you want, sort of like what that guy is doing up there. I don't know if you can see or this girl is doing here. You just put it on your plate and then you go check out. Okay, I am officially in Tide Zone. Yay! Do you want to say hi, Benson? Hello. This is my cousin in law, my cousin's husband. We are here at the station. <laughs> Poor man's helping me. Nice! Look at all the motorcycles. Okay, Nisho, my name is. <laughs> His name is Wilson. His name is William. They're eight and Nichi Ten. Ten years old. And this is Charles. This is baby Charles. Nisho, hi. 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 Hi, show. Hi. Hi. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, everyone, we are at the night market today. This is my cousin. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we are in Taizong. What is this called? The end? Feng Jia. Feng Jia night market. This is what it looks like. This is the start of the night market. Although one can say that this is also the night market right here. Okay, so my first and most important thing to get is name stickers. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. This has saved me, honestly. I get this every time I'm here. And this is all the food. Look at this night market food. Nice. That's the yeah. That's the That's the Married couple fighting. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is my cousin's husband, Benzin. We are having some taco yaki. How? Take the first bite. <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, my turn. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Fried mushrooms. This is my favorite thing to eat in Taiwan. Yay! 
All right, next up, we are eating some clams. Clams are my favorite food in Taiwan. Taiwan has some of the best clams in the world. This is what it looks like. And he's just roasting them like this. Wait. <laughs> oh, so good. Wow, our mushrooms are here. Look at this. This is so nice. <gasps> I literally drooled. Literally. We're about to eat something in Taiwan called Da Chang Bao Xiao Chang. It's sausage in a sausage. No, big sausage in a small sausage. Do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say big sausage in a small sausage. And Benson is gonna teach us how to eat this. Okay. So you gotta twist it. Whoa. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's a very traditional Taiwanese street food item. Hello everybody. Welcome to another and last day in Taiwan. I am actually at a throat specialist here in Taiwan because it's all very cheap to see a doctor. This is the place that we're at. Apparently, a lot of um, celebrities actually come here, especially singers. So we will see because I need to fix my voice so badly. Do you hear it? Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay guys, we are at Taipei 101. We're in the basement parking and we're gonna go eat at one of the restaurants. There's even DTF. We're not gonna eat there because I can find that anywhere. We're gonna go to this restaurant right here for hot pot. This is where we're going to eat today. 